so I'm uh, there's some branches on the ground here but uh, yeah I'm leaving my cottage today you can see there's a beautiful sunrise behind me it is uh, let me check it's almost 7 in the morning now so it's still uh, a bit early but uh, very very beautiful sunrise to be honest with you guys most of the times I do see the sunset and I really love it but the sunrise in summertime sometimes a bit too early for me uh, and I'm still sleeping most of the times I get out of bed like an hour later than it's now or 30 minutes around 7 30 8 sometimes a bit later um, but not this early to see the sunrise but now uh, yeah I'm leaving my cottage you can see my bags over there um, all packed and ready to go that's also why I'm this early because uh, yeah we're traveling to France today so I'm actually I'm joining my brother uh, he wanted to travel there to visit some vineyards um, and for you guys that don't know probably yeah there has been a video about uh, Dylan and I working together in his vineyard here at home uh, he has a very small vineyard here on the property but he works at the large vineyard um, and he wanted to visit some in France uh, we did the same thing in South Africa we also went there together we like to travel together and uh, yeah he wanted to go there and I wanted to go with him it's always nice to uh, just see a bit of the world I've been to France multiple times before when I was a bit younger um, and now yeah we're going to go there again it's uh, we'll be back at the end of the week so we are not going too long uh, we should be there in this afternoon I think it's like I don't know it's uh, it depends on the traffic but it's like six to seven hours drive so yeah it's pretty nice and uh, I'm taking you guys along so we're leaving the cottage for this week's video uh, after this beautiful sunrise that was quite a gift this morning uh, yeah we're leaving now and the weather is supposed to be beautiful this week also in France uh, so we're going to enjoy our time there and Dylan will probably tell you a little bit more about what he does because he has the vineyard over here and maybe he talked about it in that video I do not remember correctly it's a long time ago but uh, yeah he works in a vineyard and he works with wine and all sorts of things so uh, I'm probably going to let him explain a little bit more about it later in this video if you guys are interested and for you guys that are wondering because I'm leaving behind the cottage I'm leaving the homestead and all the animals you might see some animals walking around now because Cruelli is right here uh, of course they are investigating my bags and I understand and uh, it's not easy for me to leave the animals behind it's always very hard because I really miss them I love all my animals and uh, yeah, I always really miss them but I also want to see a bit of the world and I know my animals are in good hands because my mother uh, she lives on this property it's hers so she lives in the front for you guys that didn't know uh, she will take care of them she's very close by uh, she will check in on them she will feed everyone give everybody the attention they need so I know they are in good hands when I leave and that makes it a little bit more easy but yeah it's still hard for me um, so yeah that's about the animals don't worry it's not like uh, they will not get food for a week they will they uh, will probably get even more because my mom takes care of them you know how it goes she likes to give them a treat here and there and that's fine I like them to be a spoiled uh, when I'm gone so they deserve it but yeah we're leaving now um, travel day today and then we should arrive today in the afternoon I'm not too sure if everything goes right it will probably take a lot less time but uh, it's busy on the road so we'll see so um, Dylan is probably ready already so I'm going to grab my bags but I just want to let you guys know what we're going to do
we uh, just arrived. We is also Dylan, who is walking away from the camera, but never mind. Look how beautiful this is. And we're walking over to the place where we are going to rent some bikes. And then later today we're going to check in the place we're staying. But it's very beautiful already. So it's a very nice walk now. And look at that. It's very nice weather as well. I think it's like 30 degrees now, Celsius. So it's very warm, but it's nice. And we're enjoying this walk now. So I'll keep you guys updated. When we get the bikes, we will probably bike around for a few hours because we can check in also yeah, in a few hours at five. So still have some time to go, but this is very nice already. Good morning guys, it's the next day now, yesterday we uh, grabbed the bikes um, that we rented for the whole stay because we are going to use the bikes to get around mostly, uh, we're going to do some wine tasting so uh, it's better not to drive with the car and it's also just a very nice um, area here to use the bike, it's very beautiful and then you can just stop at places you want to see uh, and that's what we really like to do so uh, yeah, the bikes are perfect for that. But you can see our nice little house behind me. It's uh, tiny, but it's very cute and uh, it works. It has everything you need. And we're mostly uh, going to cycle anyway, so it's perfect for us. And yesterday when we got here with the bikes, we did a quick cycle around to look at everything around, to go to the supermarket and uh, buy something to drink. Um, water this time, it's not always wine. And then we went out to eat um, and then we returned because we were both pretty tired and we knew we were going to cycle the whole day today. So uh, bright and early in the morning, we're going to have breakfast in about 10 minutes and then we're uh, going to step uh, on the bicycle and uh, see everything around us. We have two wine tastings today. Um, mainly for Dylan, my brother. I, I'm just there to enjoy and uh, he knows everything about wine. Um, Bill, yeah. I told the people you would explain a bit about your work. Oh. I was just filling a bottle. You can sit there if you want. Well, I'll let him do the talking for once. Hi there. That's perfect. Nowadays I work at a vineyard in the Netherlands. Lots of people don't know we do have vineyards, not that many, uh, but some. Uh, so I work for a vineyard and I conduct all the tastings, do the tours, uh, and tell people a lot about wine. And therefore I really like to come to other places and how they are doing, uh, what they're doing. It gives a lot of inspiration. Uh, and also I do private tastings and everything surrounding wine basically. So that's what we're here to explore. And he wanted to visit this place, I think for a long time. We've been talking about it for like two to three years maybe. It's one of the regions that's closest to us, uh, where there's a significant uh, culture surrounding wine. So it was high on the list. And I'm always happy to join for some traveling. So uh, yeah. Here we are. Here we are. But uh, we're going to get breakfast. I think it might be ready. And then uh, we'll take you along today.
he is writing down all sorts of things like he is studying and I'm just here tasting <laughs> <laughs> So we just uh, parked our bikes outside this small village and we walked over here and look at this cute room. So we're doing our first wine tasting here and he's taking notes and I'm just sitting here tasting the wine. So it seems like a good deal to me. A good combination. Yeah, a good combination. The smart one studying and me just drinking. I have to take notes before I forget. Oh. Not that smart then, if you forget so easily. Or maybe it's because of all the drinking. <laughs> Trying to take a perfect picture. Yeah, it's hard. Look, he's doing great. Now you should get the top part as well. <laughs> yeah, like that. Better. Follow me on Instagram to see the result. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all his notes. Really going for it. Only one year older than this wine. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, well tasted. It's a little bit like um, cough syrup oh, and marmalade. Doesn't sound too good when you say it like that. But it's really nice. Not gonna spit this. Nope. We uh, just finished the wine tasting. You can see Dylan behind me. He is uh, looking what he's going to buy to take home. And I think then we're going to grab some lunch. And then later today we have another wine tasting at another place. So we'll have to grab the bikes and then uh, I think it's uh, some distance again. But it's beautiful here, so that's not really a problem. But first, he needs to decide what he wants and then uh, we'll look for a place to... <laughs> look at him. <laughs> it's always hard to choose. He wants everything, but it's a bit expensive. But yeah, we're uh, going to grab some lunch, probably somewhere in this small town. And then uh, hop on the bikes again. And then I think in a few hours we have the next one. So we have some time. Yeah. So we were on the bike and we arrived at the second wine tasting and I think you guys can probably hear but it's raining like crazy. So it's been extremely hot and now all of a sudden he told us, the one giving the wine tasting, yeah, it's real, it's crazy. But we were just in time so we have the tasting now and in 30 minutes it should be dry again so then we're ready to hop on the bikes again. But, uh, yeah, we're very lucky to not be uh, outside now. With our bags now full of wine, we returned back to the village for a typical Alsatian dinner.
I'm a bit sweaty because it's still pretty hot. We did have some very dark clouds again. It was dry on the way here, but uh, yeah, it was definitely some rain in the air. You can see Dylan over there taking some pictures because this valley here, very beautiful. Uh, yeah, we're almost back at our place where we're sleeping tonight. Um, we will, I think it's like five minutes more uh, into the town. That's also very beautiful. And then we're going to take a shower because I really need it. And then we're going to get some food and then sleep early, I think, because this day was uh, yeah, full of cycling, so pretty intense, but it was really, really nice. And uh, tomorrow we are going to take the bikes and do one of the cycling routes in the area. So uh, a lot more cycling again. Uh, I might visit some of the old castles because I, uh, I'm a big fan of history and those kind of things. So I love some old castles and there uh, are a lot in the area. So uh, we're probably going to cycle the whole day tomorrow, uh, find some nice spots to uh, take some pictures, uh, spend some time, eat some very nice food, drink some probably not all that wine. Well, he will probably drink a lot of wine, but uh, not me. And then, uh, yeah, find a nice place to have some dinner again. But uh, he's ready, so we're going to go into town and uh, continue our journey home, take a shower and then eat. <laughs> We just enjoyed our breakfast and we are getting ready to leave again today. Uh, well, not leave to go home. We are leaving with the bikes. We are going on a bike ride again. Uh, yesterday we had those two wine tastings. So we had a bit of a schedule to, uh, uh, to be there in time. So uh, it was a very nice bike ride and we did see some nice towns on the way. But today uh, we have all the time. So we're just going to take the bikes and uh, yeah, I spent some time uh, biking through the vineyards and to the small towns. Uh, they are electric bikes as well because I'm from the Netherlands. I'm not really used to all those hills. Um, and it's also nice so you can uh, get some distance in. Uh, we are following a kind of a, a route. Uh, we have an app they use here uh, so we can follow uh, kind of like a cycle route. Um, it's I think it's around 40 kilometers. It's um, supposed to be around four hours. We're going to probably take a bit longer because we're going to stop along the way um, for the things we like to see. So if we see a nice town or we see uh, a ruin or a castle or anything like that, we are going to stop and walk around. We are also going to eat somewhere, of course, have some lunch, um, but yeah, just a, a nice day uh, doing our own thing looking at uh, the surroundings here, at the beautiful views and just taking our time and of course we'll take you guys along if we see something interesting. Uh, probably going to park the bike somewhere and walk a bit around as well, but uh, yeah, you all see what we're up to. You ready? Ready. Well, let's go then. We're going to walk up the stairs. We just parked the bikes a few minutes away from here. And this is the first chateau castle kind of thing we're going to visit. It's actually the one that is in the town where we're sleeping as well. Um, it is supposed to be a very nice view, but uh, the stairs is also very steep. And it's, yeah, I think it's quite a walk there, but uh, we'll see how we'll manage. I think the view from there will be very beautiful.
How bad is it? Doable. You think so? We're not there yet, so <laughs> can't be sure. There's even roses growing here. Is there? Oh yes. Is it a blueberry though? Taste it. It's not ripe. It's very hard. Taste it anyway. Everybody ate them. No? Mm. <laughs> uh. It's only acidity and very harsh tannins. Ugh. I'm not going to try them. You can tell the people the disclaimer. Don't eat any berries yeah. where you don't know what they are. Don't do this at home, kids. We're, I think, halfway up there, or maybe a little bit more. The view right here is amazing already. And this is the town we're staying at, but we're staying at a place somewhere over there, just out of town. Uh, it's a very nice spot, and this walk, yeah, so far it's been really nice it's very quiet here there's not a lot of people and in this town if you take the stairs down and you go to the center it's very busy it's very beautiful as well so i understand it's busy but it's quite busy and up here i don't think too many people walk up here uh, but the view from here is already very beautiful we need to take a few more stairs you can see some people resting there because it's pretty steep up there so uh, taking some time to breathe and watch the view is uh, yeah, definitely need it also for me but uh, I think the view is beautiful here already so up there it will be worth it We're in luck. We made it to the top there and uh, the view behind me is Pretty beautiful, uh, but I lost Dylan because I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, oh, there he is. There's a vineyard over there, so he always needs to take a look. So the view of the town here is beautiful, and he is look more busy <laughs> with the grapes and everything. So yeah, that's uh, how it goes. Very beautiful. over there taking pictures of the vineyard there and look at all the historic beauty, beauty over there Gesundheit <coughs> uh. very beautiful totally worth it We uh, grabbed an ice cream. We are walking to where the bikes are parked now, through this town. Let me see where we're walking. And 
Yeah, we liked the visit to the castle. It was, the views were amazing. And there was uh, a vineyard on top, so that's always, always a good sight. <laughs> always good. Uh, and the gardens were also very beautiful. So now we're going to finish this. Very nice ice cream. And then we're going to start our bike tour cycling for four hours. Yeah. So a bit of energy now. Here we go. had lunch at that place over there and Dylan is inside now because he saw they sold bottles of wine and he wanted to take some for himself and also for my mom to bring home uh, and it's from a vineyard we visited on the bike so that makes it pretty cool I think and I'm just waiting here but it's not too bad it's a nice uh, nice place I'm in the shade now because it's pretty hot out and I think we will walk in this town a little bit more, see if we can buy some nice souvenirs and then uh, slowly head back to take a shower and then later tonight uh, go here again to grab something to eat. And then actually tomorrow already we're leaving to go home again. And always with these kind of things, I love it here. It's very beautiful and I love to travel. Um, I go on some travels multiple times a year. I try to go a bit farther away and sometimes a bit closer to home in Europe. Um, but I love to see as much of the world as I can. And this is very nice. It's just, um, I always miss my animals, of course, and my family. So it's always nice to go back home as well. And when I leave for weeks, it's more like your mindset is set to it. So it's more when you go, you know you are leaving for weeks. So it feels a bit more normal. Look who's there. Somehow. I always end up with a bag full of bottles. <laughs> it's quite heavy. How much did you get? Only three. Only and three? Two in your bag, so. Only five? It's not much. Let's so, think about it. We're going to walk around a bit more and buy some souvenirs now. Dylan is buying wine and I'm buying ice cream. I Are you, <laughs> you cannot see it right now, but this bag is full of wine. I think there's five bottles in there now. Six. And six bottles in there. And I have two bottles in my bag. What do you have to say for yourself? I drink them too. You drink them too. That's all. No comment. Okay. Hello guys, we uh, just had dinner. It was very nice again. Very good. Dylan is holding a bottle again, but this time it's... It's just water, guys. It's just, it's just water, water this time. He did have some wine. I wouldn't dare. With his meal, but that's all right. So this is the last time in the town. Well, tomorrow we need to bring back the bikes, but it's the last time spending real time here. Uh, well, we'll stay here because the river is too loud. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed our stay here. We're enjoying this last night as well. And then tomorrow we will check out, bring the bikes back to the place we rented them from. And then load the bags in the car and all the wine. Oh, you already did. And then uh, the and journey then back, home. Home. back home, back to the animals, back to Zeno. Because uh, yeah, we missed him. My mom takes good care of him, of course, but uh, yeah, he's, we, doing great. he's doing great, but we still miss him. So, uh, yeah, back to home tomorrow. We'll probably show something of the way home. Probably. Maybe returning to Zeno as well. But uh, for now, back to our bed here. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow we sleep home again. So that's always very nice. <laughs> 